Hey everybody, Z Doctor here with Typical Manga Fan, and this episode of the Typical Manga Review is going to be dedicated to Bleach Chapter 668, Bigger, Faster, Stronger. And we open up with Kenpachi being cut up, cut open, and I only just realized his axe is being, his Nojirashi is being cut up too, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, and then we have Gerard, aka Giganthor, spouting out how awesome he is, basically, mm -hmm. and that it gives thoughts. He says it gives form to the very thoughts, feelings, and desires of the masses. Um, and that basically he, it, it, his body grows through the fear of the masses. The his sword is the uh, was sheathed in the hope of the masses. And if it were to break, they would fall, all fall into despair. So you have a lot of, a lot of. I, I like how so the guy's like, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, man. Shut well, the hell up. is that supposed to suggest that nicking um, Gigantor's sword is also what cut Kimpachi? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what it's saying. Because you got the limbs uh, in there. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, like, yeah. I like, I like how the guy's like, your, your, the reason does not apply to your power. <laughs> I think I saw a comment somewhere that said like that pretty much sums up all of Bleach recently. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Kenpachi's like, well, I'll just kill you then. Um, yeah. You're like, I, I, see, I, I like how, again, he says, you're, like, you're a bad villain cliche. You, you're telling us all your plans. What's next? Demonstrate your powers. That's not him. That's everyone. That is literally everyone. Someone has not been paying attention. <laughs> well, Kenpachi, of all people, wouldn't pay attention. But True. You, you think it, I mean, but you think it'd still be noticeable, you know? Um... So basically, he tells him that he's like, "Look, I'm telling you the difference because I don't think you'll ever even like. It doesn't matter. So it's one of those things where he's like, oh, I'll tell you because it doesn't matter.' So again, he's still every other villain, you know. Yeah. They'll tell you because it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, except for Askin, Askin was the only one that was kind of different, but it was still, still a lot of, like other people. So Hit guy says that this seems like a uh, like a like, like like they were made for each other. How like you know, Kamachi's yeah. a, a strike only type of guy, cut only, and Gerard's just all brute force, you know, yeah. to, and it's also very slashy. Um, so, it seems like this is a... I, this seems to be, like, another situation where the the best guy, type of guy to fight against Gigantor and, and vice versa are yeah. actually fighting against each other. So, we have that other situation again. And then we get to the cover page, which looks like something that would be better suited to attack on Titan. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it kind of is. It, it is. Right? It, it does work for Kimpachi, though. Like I said... You know, yeah. maybe just because I like it, but I'm prepared to forgive a bit more when it comes to Kenpachi than I am with most other characters. Most, well, most, most, <laughs> most people are actually very forgiving when it comes to Kenpachi, just because he represents empowerment, I guess, a very cool empowerment type of thing. Where he just sometimes he does ignore some of the Bleach's common rules and just slashes through. Although he has yeah. recently become uh, part of them. I mean, hmm. there was there was he was the only one who would, like killed three exterminators off screen. Yeah, like he just slashed like three of them. Um, and, I think um, I think Kenpachi just has the the extra. Like, we know he's supposed to be like he's supposed to do crazy stuff out of nowhere or things like that, so we don't mind from him. It's similar to Mayuri, like he does all this weird crap, and like it's Mayuri, where we can we can let it go. Yeah. It's when Nemu stepped in that we started questioning things. Well, it, it was when they tried to make the father and daughter type of thing. Yeah, that we that know. Too. Like, I'm, I'm. It doesn't change the fact that he's still abusive towards her. You know, you, can, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, if you really think about it, a lot of abusive fathers still in some twisted way love their child yeah. but that doesn't change the fact that one is twisted and that they still abuse the child so that they, you still take them away or put, put them in jail that, that's the same thing with Mayuri yes he might care for her as I said like a memory card or even if you, even if you find a, a little bit of actual humanity yeah. and, and that he cares about Mayuri and Nemu it doesn't matter he still for the most part abuses her a father should love her child, uh, his child yeah. and, unconditionally and, and, on the subject, and on the subject of violence against children our next page is Hichigaya trying to do his attack, but before Jar Gigantor can do anything about it, Kenpachi gets in the way and just kicks him out of the fight. So well, apparently we're not going to have the situation where with the Yami, where they're just fighting over each other and they both attack him. We just, no, Kenpachi, Kenpachi's too strong now, he can actually push them away and says, no, this is my fight, don't you dare, yeah. basically. So, um, basically Byakuya and Hichigaya are just like, well, Hichigaya's a little uncomfortable about it, but they, uh, because they're saying like, look, you know, he, I don't, we don't think he can beat, uh, he can beat this guy himself, and he's already taken off his eye patch. Um, yep. But they also say like, Kampachi won't let us either. So, um, 
But yes, and, and also Bianca notices that Hitagaya's ice petal is already starting to dissolve. Which is like the clue that his, the Bankai is like weakening. Yeah, and that basically everyone is not able to, he's saying that we're not really going to last that much longer. Um because they're already pretty exhausted. Well, he shouldn't be as exhausted as his Hitsuka. Hitsuka guy went through a lot more than Byakuya ever has so far in this, yeah. this arc. Uh, but I'm... Just, yeah, so I don't know. But, um... I mean, the guy got resurrected from the dead. Right? Yeah. You gotta be a little bit exhausted for that. His lifespan was already... Like, he, they even said, like, his lifespan was used up to resurrect him. That's an interesting way of... That's just an interesting way of saying that. Yep. His, your lifespan was used to resurrect you. Your centuries-long lifespan. <laughs> yeah. Um... But he's trying to. He said he's going to find an opening, and basically, and then have Byaku attack him with Senbon Zakura from that. Yep. And and Byaku is can, for it. He's he's willing to do it. Yeah, and that he's going to freeze him down to you know freeze him completely, mm-hmm. and then they basically say okay, let's do this, and then we go back to the Kampachi and uh, Giganthor fight, mm-hmm. um, and then he Giganthor's like you know you're getting weaker, uh, so. I mean, you know, you, it's like, but it's gonna, it, it can't be helped, you know. Uh, so he bas- he basically starts talking about just putting despair into Kenpachi, you know, the, right, the typical because, feeling gloating. And uh, for and he also points out like you can't necessarily fight him without nicking without nicking your sword at all, which is why he shows out like his true, yeah. own sword has been nicked a few more times, which is why Kenpachi's been taking damage. Yeah. Uh, he's like, you know, you got lost spirit, but that's not gonna be uh, be me. Um, and then we have. Basically, the Hitchikai and and Byakuya acting out their plan, enacting their plan, and uh, but he kind of counters it. He knows what's happening, and it doesn't work. Yep. And he's like, "I am the greatest, fastest, mightiest of the Quincy." Okay, this is here we go. Every Quincy has said this, at least in the Elite Guard. They said something like this, didn't they? Like, Just "I am the best to Quincy." It. Or like something I have been I'm the first one who got granted something something about them being better than everyone else. And I remember talking about like wait, does that mean but you you a box there, so you're not technically the greatest. Yeah. Same thing here by the way. Um so now we something happens. Uh yep. something interesting happens. So yep. we go back Can... to Kapati who's on the ground. Yep, face down. So, yeah, and then someone says it's it's in black too, so you can tell that it's from like you know, from his mind or whatever. A uh, very mysterious, uh, very mysterious uh, source, and it's, it says, "What you doing? Hey, what you doing, Ken Chan?" And then we see her. It's been I don't know how many chapters I'm not gonna count, but it's been a while, yeah. and it's Yachiru, the the, uh, the the second one, the the little child. Yeah. yeah. Not not Unohana Yachiru. This is our Yachiru. Yeah. Although we do want her to come back too. Yeah. Uh, and, and, it's, and it's still so, a little and it's still a little Yachiru too, because we had that mentioned that last week. <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not go there. Nah. Let's not, I'm not gonna go there right now. Yeah. It's like, so, now's not the time for a nap. There's still more fun to be had. We're just getting started. Come on now. And then he, he asks her where she's been and then she yeah. doesn't respond to that but she just says, like, look, if you just, if, 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 you, if you would just use me properly, there wouldn't be any uh, there wouldn't be anyone you wouldn't be able to cut down, Ken-chan. And then yeah. she, grab, she she holds uh, his hand and, and, you know, gives some him his certain um an, something you can see the the, the Riatsu just yeah you know, he's basically his go, hand starts glowing his hand starts glowing basically yeah with, I'm assuming with Riatsu yeah. and he's like wait this power and see like, you can yeah. really be so clueless sometimes you know that Ken Chan that power is what everyone's been calling Bonkai no no no, no. We've been calling Bonkai. that's what everyone's yeah well, you, gotta, you gotta say it right <laughs> Bonkai uh and and, and then of course on on the, on the left side it says at last it is revealed. Yeah. And so, yeah. Okay. So, go for um, it. Could you you had stuff to say for this one? I do have really mixed feelings regarding this chapter. Okay. Um, and okay. So, uh, good or bad? Which one do you want? Uh, let's hit the bad first. We'll end on the good. Uh, I don't like the fact that we spent so little time with the Shikai. I think that it. it I mean, okay. Yeah. Let, because let, let, last let, week, let, last week we were trying to figure out what the hell it even did. Yeah. Like the problem is. I get that this is the last arc. I get that every basically this is a time where everyone has to go all out and reveal their abilities, right? Mm-hmm. And I so I so I knew I knew that the bonkai was coming sooner or later. I just hoped it would be a little bit later because I felt that we haven't had enough time to kind of get flesh out his shikai. The reason why the bonkai it was so big 
with with everyone else is because we got we got we got accommodated we got we got we we knew about the shikai we got used to it so when we saw the bankai it was like a, a, the next step in the evolution and it was really awesome but if you don't have enough time to kind of get used to the to the shikai itself then the bankai just seems kind of not as special you know because the bankai is supposed to be really hard to get and you, and, and it's supposed to be something it, it's supposed to really it, it's supposed to show the evolution from a Shikai to a Bankai, but we don't yeah. know much about the Shikai, or we're not really used to it, and we're not—we don't really uh, get—we don't get invested in the Shikai. Then it, seeing it evolve just doesn't have a mu much of a emotional type of impact at all. That might be part of why Yatiru is developed in the first place. Yeah. Like she's her um, her presence makes up for that lack. Maybe, yeah. I mean, but the, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's just—it's just that it's happened too quickly. I get that Kenpachi is always going to be the exception. I get that the arc is kind of forcing their hand a bit, but I mean, also just showing how, and also the fact that the Shikai doesn't work now. Like, that's the thing. Another thing I, I want to point out with the Shikai was that we see that the Shikai gets used different ways. We see we see, we see everyone's Shikai get used for a prolonged experience of time, a prolonged uh, amount of time. And again, that also helps with the, the connection that we make with the Shikai. We get used to it, we start to know about it, and so seeing the Bankai just, you know, is it really does feel like natural a natural next step. We but we don't again we don't we've only seen the Shikai really be used once, uh, excluding this fight. Well, remember that's the rule: use it once, see it succeed, it will fail but, the second but, time. I know, I know, but what I'm saying is, even then, the Shikais have not been used. That's that like he, he, Shikais have been used for a longer piece of time. You know, in even in that situation, and and we didn't even get much of it. I mean, he used it like once, like for like twenty seconds. Yes. Against Grimmy, right? I mean, it wasn't that long, right? No, he he, he had to fight pretty quickly after that. Yeah. Yeah, he kept the meeting and he like just basically blasted the way to fight right after that. And he basically and he he started using it, I think, or I forgot if he uh, did he even start using it against um left hand dude, not Pernita, Pernita, whatever you say. Huh? I don't think he got far enough to use it against Pernita. Yeah, so we barely, we barely, he only used it once. It, 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 no, God, this is ridiculous. And so again, bearing the fact that Kipacha is the exception, we're really putting over the whole hundred years. I mean, it's it's being given way too easily, you know, a little too easily. Hmm. And let, and, 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 I can see that, but on the other hand, if it's going to be given easily to anybody besides Ichigo, I can go for being Kipacha. But should we really give an exception just because he's Kipacha? That's my question. Yes. Should we at least wait for? Should we at least wait for him to, to for two uh, maybe two full more fights? I mean, that's the thing though. If, if the Shikai only worked once, and then we don't think of it as a great Shikai. I mean, even though it is supposed to be a great Shikai, we naturally as readers just don't rem remember the Shikai being that great if it's only worked once. And when you spend so much time hyping up Kenpachi, I'd expect the Shikai to be used at least one more time. You know, at least one more time. Um, so okay. And, and and now that the bonk has been given, is you know, is that gonna only have one use too? So that that way he can't ever win another fight again. I mean, that, I don't like this whole one use type of thing. Yeah. Why can't we just see the shikais be used differently? Like I know Kenpachi is a it's a combat expert, so while he can't use it in terms of the way a different in a different way, like maybe Byakuya would use it. Yeah. He could maybe use it in a way that Kenpachi would would definitely the... it would make sense in combat in itself. He can use a sword in different ways in different tactics. Kenpachi in that area of expertise is really good. So he's he, so in terms of the different ways of using the sword, I'm sure Kipachi would have figured it out. You yeah. Know? At the same time, like I said, you're saying these we should be able to see it in more fights here and there, but there really aren't that many fights left, so yeah, and, it kind of has to be problem. progressed like, faster. I know that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's something that I, we can't avoid, but it, I think it's because, but it's, it, it's still ha it's bad even when it when, when, even though it's it's expected. Like it's basically writing yourself into a corner, right? It's the problems when you write yourself into a corner. Which you, is something you make we, it to. The, which is something we have regularly suggested Kubo has done. <laughs> I mean, you make it so that no matter what you do, you have to do something that isn't that good. And But at the end of the day, it's still your fault because you wrote yourself into this position. You know? So, yes, I completely expected for him to use a Bankai. Maybe a little later, but I mean, not completely unexpected that he's using it now. Yeah. But now that it's happened, I'm, still, I'm not going to say, well, I expected it, therefore I give it a pass. I expected it, and I won't give it, but I won't give it a pass. Because, or not much of a pass, because you yourself put your put him in that situation. Yeah. The author, the author did. That's it. I do okay, feel like he's so, getting bonkai. Yeah, I mean, my, my, my basic issue is we didn't get to we didn't flesh out the shikai. We didn't get used to it. Yeah. So we don't we don't we're not as. 
mean, I can agree with the, with you for the most part here, though. I do think we went to the Bankai way too quickly. At least, at least it feels that way. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I'll just repeat that then. Yeah, I will agree with you for the most part in that I think we did get to the Bankai way too quickly. Because it is, like, way too rapid. Like I said, Ichigo is one thing, because A, main character, and B, like, it's even remarked that he, he always learns things at a stupidly yeah, I mean, fast rate. And, and, and his exception was that he used uh, a system that Urahara basically and Yeah, so, and even after that fact, he's still getting I mean, commented on that point. I mean, it's, when, when you have an exception happen too many times... When, when, when that, well, when that's just it. That, 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 that was just it, though. Like, an exception happened too many times that Ichigo... It happened so much with Ichigo that it just became how he learns things. Because it, it, it got brought up when he was coming to Vider, wasn't he? Training, exception from different characters, it's going to be skipped over. It's just like, you know, it's just kind of like a, the 100 year thing is really back to, So, well, the, the problem I'm having is that it's the 100 year thing that Bianca has been shut up about. It's, it's coming to back and bite everyone in the ass. If, um, it, it because, or bite the readers and bite Kubo in the ass. It's because he, he, when he really went on about the 100 year, 30 year type of training type of thing. Uh, thing. And Rukia got it quickly. Um, I mean, re- I don't know well, about QA, but... Um, Rukia kind of falls in that same kind of exception because they were in the Royal Guard c- care. Yeah, but then why not just keep everyone a Bonkai? Well, I mean, that's, that's what really we're doing. <laughs> no, but, not, but the Royal Palace, I'm talking about the Royal Guard. Hmm. Like, why does the Royal Guard just say everyone who doesn't have Bonkai here come up, we'll give you, like, some type of... And we don't see the, um... I mean, we don't, we don't see the whole... You still, you still, even if you can unleash it, the, the, the reason why he told, was so kind of losing to Bianca was because he didn't have any experience using it. Right. He still needed a lot of years to well, get your Bankai. Same with Reggie, when he got, when he got it, he same. had to, he, Bianca said, no, you got your Bankai. Well, but you still need a lot of time to kind of... Uh, same thing with Rukia. She nearly yeah. killed herself with her own power. Which, while it is something that's always pissed me off, pissed me off about that fight, does work with your point here. Okay. Uh, but what, what I'm saying is that... That's what I'm saying. Like, you write yourself in a corner, and now you say give everyone a bonkai. But you know, Kibachi didn't work with the Royal Guard. That's what I'm saying. Like, he doesn't count them. I could... Shime, Usagi, he didn't count, too. He's not with the Royal Guard. Uh, I could see um, Yatiru being the difference here, because even though he didn't w- work with her per se, they've been together for so long and so, like, differently than anyone else, I can see her being, like, the key to his exception. So anyway, what I'm saying is, though, is going back to the thing where I'm saying before, like, everyone yeah. has to come to if, if, if you have too many characters, you have to be the exception it becomes the rules in the first place. Like, it becomes the case of why you even bother having the rules in the first place. Exactly. That, well, that's what happened. The hundred years, and remember, the, I mean, it's, the hundred, it's a hundred years. Uh, I think he should have said like 30 years, you know? Yeah. In, 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 in a manga, when people's lifespans are like, like a thousand years old, it'd be more useful if you say, I skip, it'd be more believable if you say, I skip a year of training. I skip two years yeah. of training. Because I'm so good at this. But you're skipping a hundred years. That is long. Yeah, everybody hears a, everybody hears a hundred years too early to be using Bankai. Basically. To use so, a cliche. Yeah. So again, my, my problem, and I, I don't know if I was cut out when I said this, because I, I, I was like halfway talking when the, when the Skype kind of fell off. Um, but I said that um, I said that I said that we're not, because we're not, because we are we didn't flesh out the, the Shikai, it doesn't, you're not really feeling the, the, uh, the, the movement, the, the the development a natural scale from Shikai to Bankai. You know, we I feel like we should get more to Shikai first and then get to the Bankai. You know, we get to know the character and to know get to know the story better, you know? And and because of that we don't remember the Shikai as much, so we don't give it as much respect or or, or memory or remembrance. Um to it. Yep. So that's the bad. That's the good part. Um, yep, go for it. Oh I actually have good things to say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, um People, a lot of people in the comment section are saying that this is an asshole. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that he's getting a bonkai in the middle of battle this quickly is an asshole. I don't, I don't think that is not, I don't think that's an asshole to me. Uh, that is not an asshole. An asshole is when you, it comes out of nowhere and you don't even expect it. I expected it, but not even from this, the cynical perspective. I expected that he would get, um, I expected, well, this, this, okay, so the big part is that Yichiru is a sword. I think that's the one that people are saying is an asshole. Yeah. Uh, the Yichiro sword thing was a theory that's been long uh, stated over and over again, even by us. And I think we were pretty for the. I mean, we think we, think we knew that we we were kind of for the theory, weren't we? Yeah, Yichiro is her spirit, her sword. Yeah, I know you brought it up at least. I know you brought it up before, and I actually I've. After the chapter, I looked around, like, on forums, like, etc., a couple things here and there, even though Bleach read it briefly. Well, yeah, I mean, and... okay, so, I mean, it, it, the thing is, so this thing has been 
plans and still the start of the character. It's like, you look at Big Chu, when the first time they met, what was she doing? She was going to the sword and she was like touching it and, and being really like mesmerized by the sword. And it would make sense because that would be her. And she came out of nowhere, she didn't have a name, and so we gave her a, 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 you know, a, a new one, which is Yachi. And she's always with him. And people were saying, well, she had a Shikai. No, if you actually watch, read that, uh, read that type of clip, she never says the belief. She did, that was not a Shikai. And, yeah, that, we brought that up briefly too, didn't we? Yeah, and uh, Isane said like the Shikai, the, the, the sword did not change at all. And that is completely weird for a Shikai. This thing has been around for a long time. And so, and it'll be really ironic, because remember, Kakashi was always trying to talk, well, he wasn't always, but he tried talking to him before after fighting Ichigo. But it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. That he th- he thought to himself that he never ever talked to a sword, but now that he's been talking to a sword the entire time, almost yeah. constantly. And that's kind of goes with another thing. Like she could be the key to whatever exception makes the pl- Kenpachi gets in this case. Yeah, um, I mean it's interesting because in the normal situation, you're supposed to be able to meet your Shikai after like, getting your steel sword, right? You, I mean you meet you know, not meet your Shikai, meet your Zanpakuto spirit, and then that spirit would tell you the name. And then you get the Shikai, and then when you get strong enough, you manifest the the the, the, bonk, the, the spirit out into the real world, and then you supposed to beat the shit out of the spirit, and then you get the Bankai. And Paki was the opposite. He manifested his spirit first. <laughs> but, because he didn't know, and I'm assuming because he had so much spiritual energy, remember he said, like, I have so much power, I can't even press it. Maybe that's, maybe Yichiru came out because of the weird situation where he basically stole someone's Abachi, you know, his office. So, yep. But he had so much energy that he basically spouted her into existence. Um, and, and but he but it, he didn't go but he didn't know a name because he wasn't in tune with the sword. Right. So he, he had that's why he gave her a new one. And you're saying people are saying, well, you know, what, why didn't she tell him? Like, well, there's two reasons. One, maybe she maybe because of the disconnection between him and the sword, she didn't know either. Yeah. Two, it doesn't actually matter if she knows. Because remember when he, when Zong get to I know he was crazy, but even back then, this is still his sword name. Even when Zangetsu was trying to tell him, my name is Zangetsu, he still couldn't hear it. So even if Yachiru was able to tell him over and over again, my name is, he would not hear it at all. Right. I kind of like the idea that maybe she herself didn't know, though. Yeah, I mean, it it, it really doesn't matter in that regard, though, because because she wouldn't have been able to tell him. The communication wasn't there. So he couldn't know her name, therefore he couldn't release a Shikai. So you had every, you know, so you have to release a Shikai first. You can't go bomb that in Shikai, that makes no sense. Uh, and that's why he was, his sword was always in this weird transition state where it was in a sealed, it was basically sealed, right? It was in a sealed form, but it was as strong as Shikai, but it also mani- he also manifested um, a, basically something that you need to have to be a bomb guy. He, he, in, in terms of requirements, he went backwards. He manifested the ability first and then learned the, uh, learned the name later. Right. Yeah. So, um, and I don't know if that's just because of just how powerful he really is. Do you think that's probably all it is? Yeah. We'll, we'll see that. We'll see. Um, yeah. So that is my last. That was actually planned yeah. from the very start. You can see it. You can see it. So I'm not gonna go. I'm, I'm actually not gonna say, say anything bad about this at all in terms of that. And actually, actually, I think it's pretty. It's pretty cool. There was only one problem I had, and now and, and, and there was a this Tekken 101 who everyone knows is the most popular Legion leader. Yeah. He actually did this theory like a year ago, and he, and he actually stated the problems that. People have a theory. I the first there were three problems. The first two, me and him agreed that it wasn't much of an issue um, because people missed it. Like the Shikai thing, like she didn't have she's not, not, not a true Shikai, you know. Yep. And, and and those and the beasts that appear behind her, I'm just, maybe they come from her, you know. She's a spirit stuff. So maybe she has some type of ability that doesn't. It, it, it's, it's believable. The the problem people had was that Yachiru was not. She was somewhere else when the sword was speaking. Because the sword was speaking to Kipachi when he first unlocked it. Money. I've seen, I've been with you all the time. By the way, that also means that that's it too. That's another hint that was in you. She said, I've been, I've been, well, she said, I've been watching you. I've been with you this entire time. Yeah. And my, and blah, 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 my name is Ozrachi. And yet you chew with somewhere else. Question, did he at any point commune with the sword during his fighting with Unohana? He, uh, right after it. When he beat right after it, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's when the sword said, my name is Ozrachi. Okay. And, 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 and I'm assuming that he didn't actually, even though he learned the name, he didn't actually because the problem is we, we remember Ichigo and he learned the name and said and said at this like basically very short, very shortly after the, the the other where he learned the name and then unleashed the sword. 
Um, pretty much he didn't do that. He 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 unleashed a sword. He didn't unleash a sword until the the Grand Um, which is a very stupid thing to do because you should probably unleash it first and see what you can do with it and get used to it before whatever. Um, but regardless, I guess to make the hype better, uh, he did unleash it and then he unleashed it right in the Grand Fight and that's when he shoots the spear. Yeah. Um, which is another thing. Um. So anyway, the main problem a lot of people had, the one, the only one that I actually said yeah that is a problem was that Nozorachi was talking to Pachi, even though Yachiru had yet to be dissipated back into the sword. <laughs> um, and I think the, the, the theory that Teching, and, and I also kind of say, I'll take my by that, is that Nozorachi fragmented herself from the sword, so that means there's, and, and, and created Yachiru. You know kind, kind of like um, Kyoraku swords. Mm, Similar. Yeah. Kind of, kind of, not really the same. Or kind of. maybe like Stark and Lilinette would might maybe be the better yeah, example. Basically, basically like that. Um, but yeah, Stark and Lilinette. Someone actually did talk about Stark and Lilinette. Yeah. Um, and so Stark and Lilinette. So then someone's just like, so maybe those are like, I can't talk to you through the sword, but maybe I can just, I can just kind of get something out there. So yeah. there's still any limitations. She can tell his name. Maybe she had amnesia. Yeah. Um, or simply so, like created without those memories in the first place. But maybe because of the spiritual energy, uh, those just said, you know, maybe, maybe not now, maybe later. This Yachiru thing, I just, Yachiru creation, I just made. Maybe can uh, can get the option to open up a bit and really you, learn the sword. You know, a thought occurs to me just now. That puts his fight with Grammy into a whole new perspective, if that's the case. Because how did Grammy start his fight? With like an imaginary fragment of himself. <laughs> no. I don't know. Now, they're making, they're making me think about that now. <laughs> yeah, well, be, be careful, because that could just be coincidence. Oh, very, very likely so. But at the same time, I, even if it's coincidence, it doesn't mean it doesn't at least make you stop and think a minute. Uh, well, I mean, that's not a certain magic, right? That's not enough to... Well, happens. still, like the, the um, weird the weird old scientist, whatever, invisible guy, he was still the... He's still the first one we knew of. And remember, he wasn't... Yeah. So you had basically imagination god, I mean, the imagination itself fighting, not an imagination, but kind of like a spirit. So yeah. it wasn't actually two solid people fighting each other. That'd be, that's actually interesting. Yeah. And you have to destroy the guy, by the way. Yeah. Um, uh, but no, so it is not an asshole. Um, oh, there, there, wait, 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 there's another one for you. The toughest girl in Bleach isn't actually real. <laughs> With Yachiru winning against the guy. Well, girl. Toughest girl alive at that time, then. No. <laughs> you want to get picky? You're, you're reaching. You're reaching. <laughs> I don't know, but still, okay, one of the toughest girls, not actually yeah. real. Well, I mean, <laughs> what is it? One of, and we had now being given the power of God, the God killer. Um, <laughs> Nebu has the power to, like, become Superwoman for, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if it's the toughest girl. Well, fine, all right, but still, it's still, oh, oh, um, it's still amusing to me. Okay. Um, she is part of the strongest user. And that's mm-hmm. something. Maybe she. Yep. Maybe she it, it's tricky. I mean, it, I, I don't. I mean, she was only a strong. She was only kind of powerful as a lieutenant last time. She's a, you know, she didn't have a she got Monkai, but she was still strong enough to become a lieutenant. So, I mean, yeah. Or yeah. she still was captain. It, it's tricky. Yeah. I will, I will say that she is the most vulnerable. Which actually is funny in itself if you think about the relationship between the yeah. I mean, it, it, it kind of makes sense if you think about it. Like, contrast. The contrast, the whole contrast was always there. Whether, whether she was a spirit or not, the contrast was there and it was intentional. Uh, but it's even more, like, it's a lot better now that we know that that's kind of like representing candy in some way. Because remember, the spirit comes in person. And it could either be the complete someone who's similar or someone who's completely opposite. And this kind of someone who's the opposite. I guess you could say she represents his childlessness in jo- or joy in fighting. fighting. Maybe. Something like that. Like, like, remember, he, 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 play, he fights as if it's a child game. You know, like, <laughs> oh, fun fighting, you know? It's a serious thing. You're killing people. But to him, it's just it's fun, it's games, it's entertainment, and that's how a child would see it. Or a child, that's what a child would see. A child would see certain things, you know? So maybe she represents his, his, child, his childlike uh, mindset in terms of getting more fights for fun. <laughs> Um, that could be easy. I mean, she thinks fighting is fun too. She's bloodthirsty, by the way. I mean, she is. Yeah. But she, 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 she treats it as a game. She treats it as for fun. Which is the way Karate treats fights. You know? I mean, 
he's like, oh, shit, I might die. Oh, well. Two swords. Or two hands. So, yeah, that's not an asshole. There's one guy who I kind of got annoyed because I knew he was, she was saying what I was saying, but he's, he phrased it so poorly. He's like, oh, she's, she's, um, a lot of people are confused. I understand a lot of people, okay? But he was saying, like, oh, you know, he was, he was a real fan, but he kind of, he, a lot of people were generally confused. He treated them like haters just because they weren't confused. They were confused. It's, no, he, he said, like, oh, you know, um, Unahana, why, oh, why didn't get you say who she was? And then she, he's like, oh, she remember, he couldn't talk to her the long time. I said, and then I was like, no, he could. He talked to her the entire time. And he's like, well, you guys just don't get it because you're trolling. I'm like, and I, I, I got it. I understood. I, oh, I kind of, I think I did. I think I did. I was like, you know, she, even she could tell him. Even if she knew who the sword, uh, what the sword name was, and she tried telling him, he probably couldn't hear it, because that's what happened with Right. And so that, um, my money is more just on the fact that she just doesn't know about it. She just never knew realized. Either way, well, my, but the thing is, like, he was saying something along those lines, but he was spreading it so poorly, that everyone was just like, I don't get you. And instead of saying, I, I understand, I'm being nice about it, he's like, oh, you guys are trolling. Look, some people just simply don't get stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. If you're going to say the words you're trolling, you're just provoking people, and you're not getting the job done. I mean, nope. you're not getting the point across. And... and I hate that. Like I, I was, I, I was, I was on his side, but I, like I see what you're trying to say, and then these, and I, I'm gonna, I know these, all these, I, I disagree with it with the, the, the critics on this one, but you gotta, you gotta phrase yourself better. Like mm -hmm. people, it's clear that he, that you are not saying it correctly, you know. But, but just because they don't understand it doesn't mean they're trolling. People generally don't understand shit sometimes, you know. Don't assume that every, don't assume that everyone can understand things the same way you do. Whether it doesn't matter, it's not about what you being smarter or you being or you being stupider or them being stupider. It's um sometimes people look at things different ways and sometimes people just don't they miss certain things. Explain to them. Go with them. They're not and he, the, yeah. the thing is like, the critics didn't say anything. Oh, the, 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 not the critics, but like the guy he was specifically complaining about wasn't being mean. He's like sorry. He's like sorry. I don't get it. He's just like he's, that's all he said. Like oh sorry, I don't get it. And the guy was like, I, well, you know what? I'm done here. I, I think you're strong. He's like, no, you are being confusing. Yeah. I, I, I read what the guy said. He, he was confusing. And this is the guy who actually got what he was trying to say. But when I was reading it, I heard him like, what are you trying to say here? Yeah. Um, so I, I, I kind of thought it was mean. Like, the, the, the guy himself was, like, explaining it, but not very well. Yeah, and he, he was blaming everyone else for not understanding it. <laughs> that's basically what happened. See, that's the thing I hate about some of the fans is that even when I'm agreeing with you, you're not explaining it correctly. So, <laughs> So, so when you say shit like you're just trolling, people are just gonna dislike you even more and kind of get people. People naturally uh, uh, brush things like people naturally make a lot of blanket statements, uh, blanket mm -hmm. um, corrections, right? Uh, so if you if you do that, people are just gonna think Lee fans are assholes. And honestly, I mean, the amount of shit that happens in at least the manga comments makes me think that the manga shit Leaf fans are assholes. At least mm -hmm. manga shit specifically, because even when you're right, you say it in such a, you say it, you're so. This condescending? Condescending, rudeness, and all that shit that just makes people hate you and the rest of the fans. And, and you know, people like to uh, pay, uh, have, use raw brushes or pay for pay raw brushes. I, I, I was kind of saying, I'm not trying to put it. People, people like to, um, you know, assume that because they saw this, they everyone like that. I mean, it's unfortunate that happens, but that's just not people are way naturally think, unfortunately, now. Yeah. Uh, right now, so, um, so try to avoid it. Say, look, look, I, I get what you're saying. Here, let me try to explain it. Because if you are kind of representing a lot of fans out there. Because if you act like an asshole, people are just gonna think that Bleach is an asshole. Not true, but you're you're gonna make that impression. And why even you know why why go through with that? Why put yourself in that situation? Why put why make people think that? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So you you covered anything I would have thought of myself at this point. So I don't really have anything to add in this case. I think my phrase I was trying to use was people like to uh, paint a broad brush. Okay. Is that, is that statement, like, Paint with a broad brush. That usually means like kind of cover everybody yeah. with one phrase or one line of thinking. Yeah, yeah, it's I not mean, accurate. I, I, that's the phrase I was trying to use. Uh, I, I think I got it the first time, but I, was, I wasn't <laughs> sure because it, it sounded weird when I said it. So mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But yeah, that was basically what I was trying to say. Like, people paint with a broad brush a lot, especially in the internet. So don't try to avoid it if you can. I, mm -hmm. I know you don't represent everyone, but to them, you kind of do. So let's let's try to avoid it unless the guys are being an actual asshole. If you guys are just trying to learn, be nice and teach them. Because, you know, you're not going to gain anything by being an asshole. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, mixed feelings regarding this. Uh, hopefully the Bankai will be great. Uh, oh, oh, another thing that I pointed out. Uh, people, a lot of people in the comments are saying that 
the Chu's is Bonkai? Uh, let's extend. The Chu is a spirit which manifests, which can give you the Bonkai, which is what she said. I'm giving you a Bonkai. She is not the Bonkai, the Bonkai herself. And, and a Bonkai is the manifestation of the of the abilities into real form, like, you know, um, and often, and, and getting the spirit out there is a requirement to get a Bonkai. Right, that's why we've been saying he, he's done everything backwards, because he did that a long time ago. Yeah, but, a bon, but that's not truly what a Bonkai is. It doesn't necessarily mean the spirit himself is, you know, is, that, that is the spirit himself. It, it's, it's, um, see, it, what, what, is there, how does the say it? It is, uh... Like it, I always, I, the way I remember back in Soul Society arc, and hold, do not hold me to this, because I, my memory on this is gonna be soddy. But it's like you bring the spirit of the Zanpakuto out into the real world, and you basically get it to submit to you. Yeah, well, that, that's you. That's how you get it. Right. That's not the Bankai itself. Okay, I think the, you just said it's just a second bro. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Um, what happens is that in Bankai, you sometimes get a part, a piece of the sort of, of your spirit with you, like you know how Renji basically gets coated with you know the band of the monkey and uses the dragon snake. Ichigo use has 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 the clothing of the type of on Getsu, as well as the sword. Mm-hmm. Um, like all, all the Bankai's in some way were kind of you take a lot of, you take the image of your spirit, right? Like or how you see a guy has a gigantic country uh, has become somewhat of a dragon. Yeah, you, you take mm-hmm. the, the image of your soul, of your Zonkai but you don't actually you don't actually, you know, bring it on to battle with you. Although sometimes there are exceptions, like you have uh Kiraku being able to manifest his his sword his uh his sword, but then you can also argue that's part of the ability because she only came out after he beat really borrow. Yeah. So yeah. So basically she's not his Bankai, she's the spirit. There's a bit of a difference there. She gives him the Bankai. Um so just wanna clarify that a lot of people are saying that she's Bankai, she is the Bankai, she is not the Bankai, she is what gives him the Bankai. Yes, yeah, he's essentially the Zanpak Toe. Yeah, she is the Zanpak Toe. Yeah. And Zanpak is spirit gives him Bankai. he might have seen that 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 is within her image. Although I will say though that, that not well that's not normally the case, sometimes you can, like Sometimes you do bring out your, your, your spirit. Sometimes mm-hmm. that does happen, but that's not every time. And again, that is not spirit. the spirit and the one guy are not the same. Mm-hmm. Hey, all right. we're all good to go. Yeah. All right. In that case, that has been our well, probably more your review of Bleach chapter six hundred and um, sixty-seven. The six seven or sixty-eight. I lost track here. Yep. Uh, yeah, 668, I'm sorry. Ble- um, Bleach Chapter 668, Bigger, Faster, Stronger. All right, go ahead and take us away. <laughs>